I'm David Petrie, I'm Head of Corporate Finance at the ICAW. I think it's a very important conference because this afternoon I'm looking at national security and investment, two extremely important topics when it comes to economic growth and indeed the protection of people in this country. This new white paper paves the way to a step change in the mergers regime in this country. Hitherto we've had a very open market for overseas investment in British companies, but now there's a certain amount of concern raised by national security interests, which mean that it's perhaps not such a good idea for overseas acquirers to be getting hold of some of the core technologies that we're developing in Britain and which run to the heart of our national security. And that may include some areas of um, telecommunications, it may include the developments in artificial intelligence, and it also includes dual-use technologies which have both a civil and a military application. The number of transactions referred to the CMA at the moment for merger clearance is normally about 50 per year, but this new white paper focused on national security envisages referring potentially 200 transactions to the government for approval. They may, of those 200, they estimate that perhaps they'll have a good look at 100, and up to 50 of those could be blocked or modified in some way. So that is a step change. What we'd like to do is make sure that the regulation works efficiently and effectively, and doesn't slow down investment in these high technology businesses. So the implications for advisors are, first of all, they need to think very carefully about the nature of the business. And also for people advising on infrastructure transactions, they'll need to think very carefully about um, uh, who's involved with the deal and whether the nation state uh, is currently enjoying good diplomatic relations with, with this country. Huh?